Where is she? Hey, I'm ready for field school. I don't think you brought enough stuff. In today's video, we're gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to properly prepare for field school. It's really important to be prepared for your field school. Everything you see on this table is an example of what you could take on your field camp excursion. So in order to get the most out of your trip, you're there to learn about geology. And when you're learning about geology, you're gonna have to observe what's around you, um, collect samples and record what's going on. So always have a notebook, preferably waterproof with a waterproof pen for the field and a scale card so that when you're taking photos of any uh, formations you're looking at or samples, you have a scale to refer to. Have a hand lens so that you can look at your samples up close and catch any details you're missing in the field and record those observations. And your rock camera so you can hit rocks and collect rocks. And that's the best part. But it's not always something you have to do because rocks are pretty and you can leave them intact sometimes. And also bring either like Ziploc bags or reusable bags to collect samples so that you can refer back to them when you're studying your samples and trying to piece together the depositional history of where you're exploring. One of the things that you should bring to field camp is obviously a backpack. Um, some field camps are a little bit more glamorous than others. Uh, some are strictly backpacking and you have to be responsible for every single piece of gear that you carry in and out. And some are a little bit more friendly with, <laughs> with hotels and motels. Um, but the most important thing is having a good backpack that is sturdy, that is broken in and can hold a lot. This one is 45 liters um, and it has lots of pockets and it is also waterproof as well. You'll be in rain, sunshine, sleet, cold, wet, hot, dry. Um, and you need a backpack that's going to survive all of the elements. The next thing you're gonna need that's extremely important is waterproof gear, raincoats, waterproof pants, whatever you can get because you never know what the weather's gonna be like. And you're also stuck in the field for at least eight hours a day at a time. And if it gets wet, you're gonna get cranky and you're not gonna wanna do anything. So that's why you should spend the extra money on some good gear and protect yourself from the wet. Layers, layers, layers. Don't forget to pack layers. So you never know what type of weather you're gonna encounter. The most important thing is to dress in layers so that you don't get wet or hot or crabby. <laughs> um, you want to be able to peel off layers. You wanna be able to put on layers. Um, and the most important thing is to have lightweight um, synthetic fabric if you can. Try to avoid cotton as much as possible because it gets heavy when it's wet and it's not as moisture wicking as uh, as synthetic fabrics are. This is a good example of a synthetic t-shirt. Uh, it is made out of Luon, Rayon. These pants are made out of polyester. I also have a favorite pair of field pants that's made out of recycled nylon. So those are options you can look into. Yeah. Be sure to get a sturdy pair of hiking boots, preferably with ankle support and waterproof and something that is comfortable and will get you places. Do not bring a brand new pair of hiking boots to field school. Break them in or else you're literally gonna cry for the rest of the trip. Make sure to bring an extra pair of socks. Socks are very, very important to keep your feet dry and prevent your feet from getting cold. When you feel a blister start to form, put some duct tape on your feet to prevent the blister from forming completely. There's nothing worse than having blistered feet and having wet feet when you're out in the field. Buffs are a really, really good thing to have in the field because you can use them 30 different ways. And they can be used as a scrunchie and a headband and a sun protector and it can protect your neck and your face if it gets windy. They're great. Cute. Since you're outside all day, you're gonna have to protect yourself from the sun. So suggest getting some good sunscreen and applying it 
every few hours or so to make sure you're fully protected so that way you don't get a sunburn and also you don't exhaust yourself. And also don't forget bug spray because often where you're gonna be exploring, there's gonna be a lot of bugs from like mosquitoes, black flies, and you gotta protect yourself. So be sure to do that. Just like sunscreen, a hat is really, really important to have out in the field. You want something that's gonna protect your face, your ears, and your neck so that you don't get severely sunburned. Remember to stay hydrated out in the field. Drink lots and lots of water. One of the things that you should keep in your backpack are some snacks. You wanna be able to keep your energy up when you're out in the field and you never know when you're gonna stop for lunch. Things like cliff bars or lara bars or even some of this trail mix will give you enough energy to last through the day. Good. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Let us know if you have any other tips or tricks to surviving a field school. One, two, three. Geology, Geology Gals, gals out. <laughs> <laughs>